Hello everyone, today we're going to be talking about 15 herbs that are great to have and grow uh, indoor or outdoors and actually herbs can save you money and this year we've been um, growing some herbs, uh, quite a few of them actually, been keeping them in the house mainly and put them outside sometimes and bring them back in the house but it has been saving us money, it's a great smell and uh, tastes really good, it's great in food, but here's one I got right here. Mmm, it's like a chocolate mint, smells really good, and we've been putting it in our teas and everything, and it's it tastes really good, and so this one's growing very nice, um, as you can see here. Um, it's been spreading and everything, so, and our cat Milo, he loves herbs too. Uh, he loves to sniff on them and everything, but uh, catnip is, uh, of course, his favorite. So we got uh, one herb growing for him that he loves. So uh, uh, that's one of the herbs that we'll be talking about uh, in, the, in the slide here in our video. Hope you enjoy it. Thank you. 15 herbs that are great to have and grow indoors or outdoors. Please know that everybody reacts different to herbs. It might be a good idea to consult with your physician if you plan to use the herbs. Number one is parsley, good for garnish and seasoning, especially in salad soups, stews, and much more. Grows good in part shade and well-drained soil. Great for an indoor herb plant. Parsley is full of antioxidants, has vitamin K, which helps your blood to clot, and good for bone health. It is rich in vitamin C that helps reduce the risk of health conditions like diabetes, stroke, heart disease, and cancer. It also has a great source of vitamin A too. In some people, parsley can cause a skin reaction and can cause side effects like anemia. Number two is dill. Good for garnish and seasoning, especially in salads, soups, sauces, dips, homemade pickles, beans, meat dishes, and much more. Grows good in part shade in a well-drained and slightly acidic soil. It does not require frequent fertilizing. Good for an indoor herb plant, but make sure it gets some light. Dill is full of antioxidants, including flavonoids that help reduce the risk of heart disease, stroke, and some forms of cancer. It is beneficial for reducing flatulence and bloating in the digestive system, but it also has high dietary fiber that improves the bowels. It also has anti-acid properties that is useful in treating indigestion, gastritis, and inflammation. It can cause a skin rash for people allergic to dill. Number three is oregano. Good for garnish and seasoning. Great for Mexican dishes, tomato sauces, meatballs, egg dishes, salad, and much more. Grows better in full sun and fertile, well-drained soil. Good for an indoor herb plant, but make sure it gets some light. It is full of antioxidants. It contains chemicals that might help reduce your cough. It also might help with digestion and, and with fighting against some bacteria and viruses. People use oregano for wound healing, parasite infections, and other conditions. It also has other health benefits due to its anti-inflammatory and antimicrobial properties. Medical uses range from diabetes to cramps. It can also help reduce the risk of cancer. Large doses of oregano might increase the risk of bleeding, cause diuretic effects, and upset the stomach. Number four is rosemary. Good for garnish and seasoning. Popular in Greek dishes. You can use in chicken, lambs, oil, dips, and much more. Grows in full sun with well-drained soil. Rosemary can be an indoor plant, but make sure it gets full sun. Rosemary has been used by some people to promote hair growth. Uh, in folk medicine, it has been used as a mild analgesic to cure intercoastal neurologia neurologia, headaches, migraine, insomnia, emotional upset, and depression. It also used for fragrance and soaps and cosmetics. Traditionally, rosemary has been used to improve memory. Very high doses may cause vomiting, coma, and pulmonary edema. Number five is basil. Good for garnish and seasoning and must in Italian dishes. Grows in full sun and likes to stay moist. Basil makes a great indoor and outdoor plant. The eugenol and basil can block calcium channels, which can help to lower blood pressure. Its oils can help lower your cholesterol and triglycerides, too. Basil also contains magnesium, which can help improve your blood flow by allowing your muscles and blood vessels to relax. It reduces inflammation. Traditional uses include treatment of snake bites, colds, and, in and inflammation with nasal passages. Basil provides some macronutrients, such as calcium and vitamin K, as well as other antioxidants. People taking blood pressure lowering drugs or diabetes drugs should use caution with basil supplements since they may lower blood pressure and blood sugar. Avoid holy basil if you're pregnant or trying to get pregnant. Number six is chives. 
Good for garnish and seasoning, great on potatoes, eggs, and much more. Grows in full sun, but can tolerate some shade. Chives need water, but do not overdo it. Chives make a great indoor and outdoor plant. Chives has such a high dose of vitamin C. Their essential oils have a long list of ailments. They act as expectorant, antibacterium, and anti-inflammatory. Chives also animate the appetite and promote digestion. Too many chives can cause an upset stomach. Number seven is peppermint. Good in drinks, ideal for teas and minted chocolate. Grows in partly shade. Mints needs a good bit of water, but do not overwater it. Peppermint makes a great indoor and outdoor plant. Mint leaves are anti-inflammatory, which helps reduce any inflammation in your stomach. Mint leaves also help relieve indigestion. Mint leaves are rich in phosphorus, calcium, and vitamins like C, D, E, and A, which improves the immune system. In some people, it might can worsen gastroesophageal reflux disease. Number eight is marjoram. Marjoram is an ar aromatic herb in the mint family that has been grown in the Mediterranean, North Africa, and Western Asia for thousands of years. While similar to oregano, it has a milder flavor and is often used to garnish salads, soups, and meat dishes. Marjoram spices marinades for meats and fish, especially veal, chicken, lamb, tilapia, and snapper. It also livens up sautéed or roasted vegetables like eggplant and summer squash. You need a sunny spot with soil that has excellent drainage. Marjoram grows better indoors and is cold sensitive, which is done better with temperatures below 50 degrees Fahrenheit. Marjoram contains antioxidants, which help prevent cell damage from harmful radicals and reduce inflammation. These properties help reduce the risk of certain diseases, include, including diabetes, autoimmune disorders, and cancer. Taking medical metanicil amounts of marjoram might slow clotting and increase the chances of bruising and bleeding in people with bleeding disorders. Marjoram might slow the heart rate. Number nine is sage. You can use sage as a garnish seasoning and a flavor infuser. Dried leaves are a handy seasoning ingredient for soups, stews, poultry, and casseroles like turkey dressing during Thanksgiving. Grows in full sun and in soil with excellent drainage. Sage can be an indoor and outdoor plant. You can use sage for memory and thinking skills, high cholesterol, and sim symptoms of menopause. It can be used for pain after surgery, lung cancer, sore throat, sunburn, and many other conditions, but there is no good scientific evidence to support this. Sage has several types of acidic compounds that act as antioxidants. Burning sage has been used for cleaning a person spiritually since prehistoric times. There have been a few cases of seizures for some people using sage. It may be unsafe to use during pregnancy because it may have harmful effects. Number 10 is fennel. To reap the benefits of fennel and its seeds, try raw fennel bulb into your salads or using the seeds to flavor soups, broths, baked goods, and fish dishes. Grows in full sun and in soil with excellent drainage. You can grow fennel indoors, but make sure the pot is big enough. It can improve heart health, reduce inflammation, suppress appetite, give healthy skin, may alleviate some symptoms of menopause, and even provide anti-cancer effects. Fennel is possibly unsafe to use while pregnant. Regular use in fennel can be linked to preterm birth. Number 11, cilantro. Great for garnish and seasoning. Aromatic, flavorful leaves and seeds called coriander. Used in Mexican, Caribbean, and Asian dishes. Grows in full sun and in soil with excellent drainage but likes cooler environments. You can grow cilantro indoor or outdoors. The cilantro plant contains an, contains an antimicrobial compound that may help protect your body against infections and illnesses caused by tainted food. The compound in a, is effective against salmonella, a microbe that can cause life-threatening food poisoning. Cilantro is used for cancer, measles, toothache, and many other conditions, but there is no good scientific evidence to support that this is true. Cilantro can slow down or inhibit blood clotting. Overconsumption can therefore cause bleeding in people who have bleeding or clotting disorders. Number 12, lavender. Good for potpourri and baking. Grows in full sun and in soil with excellent drainage with a more alkaline soil. You can grow indoors or outdoors. Reduces pain and inflammation. Research has shown that lavender essential oil can help reduce headache pain. Helps with mood, anxiety, and depression. Lavender is known for its ability to calm the nervous system lift the mood, and even lower blood pressure, but there is not 
but there is not scientific evidence for this. Aromatherapists use lavender and inhalation therapy to treat headaches, nervous disorders, and exhaustion. Herbalists treat skin ailments such as fungi infections, wounds, eczema, and acne with lavender oil. It is also used in a healing bath for joint and muscle pain. Number 13, tarragon. Fresh tarragon should also be used raw or added to the end of cooking, whereas dried tarragon is often added early on in recipe, recipes. Try tarragon in your own lemon salad dressing or dip, pan-fried or baked chicken and fish, summer roasted vegetables, and more. Tarragon is better with full sun but not hot temperatures and can thrive in poor and well-drained soil that is not too acidic. It can grow indoors or outdoors. Tarragon is used to treat digestion problems, poor appetite, water retention, a toothache, to start menstruation, and to promote sleep. In manufacturing, tarragon is used as a fragrance in soaps and cosmetics. Tarragon might, sh might slow blood clotting. There is concern that tarragon might increase the risk of bleeding when taken as a medicine. Number 14, chamomile. Dried flowers from German chamomile are commonly used in teas. Roman chamomile is more often used as a mild flavoring in other drinks and foods. You can use chamomile as an ingredient in soups, baked goods, jams, candies, and salad dressings. It's also used to flavor ice cream, cocktails, and as a decorative garnish. Keep in a warm, bright spot in water regularly. Chamomile preparations are commonly used for many human ailments such as hay fever, inflammation, muscle spasms, menstrual disorders, insomnia, ulcers, wounds, gastrointestinal disorders, rheumatic pain, and hemorrhoids. Essential oils of chamomile are used extensively in cosmetics and aromatherapy. Side effects are uncommon and may include nausea, dizziness, and allergic reactions. Number 15, catnip. Our cat loves catnip. You can use catnip to make tea, which is sometimes used to treat conditions like insomnia, anxiety, and headaches. Catnip is a very drought-tolerant plant, and sitting in waterlogged soil can kill it. Keep the soil of seedlings lightly moist but not soggy. Catnip can grow indoors or outdoors, but does best in warmer climates with lots of sunlight. Medicinally, the plant has been used to treat intestinal cramps, indigestion, to cause sweating, to induce menstruation as a sedative and to increase appetite. Catnip may help relax the body before bed and promote rest. Catnip is great for cats too. Rub catnip into your cat's scratching post to encourage use. Place catnip in toys to, pro to promote active play and exercise. Sprinkle catnip in a new environment to encourage shy cats to be comfortable and help cat-to-cat -cat introductions go smoothly. Catnip might be unsafe when smoked or taken by mouth in high doses. Many cups of catnip tea, for example. It can cause headaches, vomiting, and a feeling of being ill.